Back to the investigation into the Lewiston mass shooting suspect. Many Mainer, Mainers left wondering how law enforcement missed so many warning signs. Uh, it does include text messages from members of his Army Reserve unit fearing that he could actually, quote, snap. The I-team Stephanie Grinley joining us live in the studio. And Stephanie, Maine State Police are weighing in on this today. Indeed they are, Greg and Marissa. In an interview with our radio partners at WGAN this morning, the head of the Maine State Police, Colonel William Ross, says a combination of factors led to the alleged shooter falling through the cracks, including a lack of information from out of state when he was institutionalized and the responsibility of finding him passed between different agencies, but was never followed through on. First of all, you have, for regarding the Sheriff's Department, and I, and I, I know that the Saginaw Sheriff's Department has, has, has commented on this, um, you have to find the individual. And unfortunately, a lot of the information that would be coming from out of state, from either the military, and keep in mind, I think this person did a two-week stint in a psychiatric facility in, in, facility in New York. Um, none of that applies. It, it's kind of a restart when it comes to the state with respect to the, the weapons restriction law, the yellow flag law. And, and I think that's a problem, too. And um, there should have been opportunities here to collect all of this information and be able to move forward with it. He says there's a lot of public policy decisions that need to be evaluated, that when a person comes into Maine, connections are put together. Just two days ago, the I-team sat down with the Sagadahawk County Sheriff, whose department you could say inherited Card's case when he returned to Maine. Tonight, we are hearing what Colonel Ross thinks. Whoever inherited this is a case, and that, in, that entity needs to track this individual down. And you continue to track this individual down Till you locate them and then you can make that assessment as a law enforcement agency and if you can make that determination that they need to be brought in for an evaluation and you start following the steps of that of, of that yellow flag law and i think that's where things were dropped the sheriff tells us however his deputies followed protocol when attempting to follow up you can find that interview on our website wgme.com but coming up at six we're going to hear from colonel ross on what he believes were the right calls made in the search search for the shooter for now we are live in the newsroom for the i-team i'm stephanie grinley stephanie thank you ahead it's